in this video student we will read about the plasma membrane clear uh, in your previous classes also you had read about the plasma membrane plasma membrane is also known as the cell membrane plasma lemma okay so what's about this is the most flexible and elastic membrane which is present outside of the cell so as we know very well about the plasma membrane plasma membrane somewhere you will read uh, you had read also about uh, plasma membrane is semi permeable membrane plasma membrane is selectively permeable membrane okay so when it is in life condition means when plasma membrane is present outside the living cell that time it functions as the selectively permeable membrane okay but if it is removed from the living cell that time it works as a semi permeable membrane like one example uh, if you put um, a, a, an egg inside or you can dip egg inside hydrochloric acid that time you can observe that hydrochloric acid break the calcium carbonate which is present outside of the egg and egg that time you can feel one layer present outside of the outside of the inner content okay so this membrane works as a plasma membrane okay so here on a screen as you can see that different models which are related with the plasma membrane had discussed so we will uh, go through it one by one okay so first uh, model if we discuss it's about the sandwich model of cell membrane clear and sandwich model of uh, cell membrane or plasma membrane was given by danieli and dawson clear danieli and dawson in 1935 clear when they have given it in 1935 so according to them plasma membrane is made up of three layers you can see protein and lipid layer clear protein lipid then protein okay so these green color area they both are related with the protein and this portion is related with the lipid okay so which type of lipid uh, is present here bilayer lipid bilayer hydrophilic zone means water loving zone and hydrophobic zone means it is not dissolvable in water clear not soluble in water so uh, here you can see that protein is present which type of protein if i use one word hydrated hydrated protein clear and lipid bilayer is also having the two ends you can observe the rounded end okay the rounded area and this two arms like area so this rounded is known as the head region or it is known as the tail region so in this you can observe that they are just opposite one layer is just opposite to other so by which we can say that the two uh, inside two protein layer one lipid layer is present you can see two protein layers are here and inside of it lipid is filled like a sandwich what is sandwich in sandwich also uh, a edible content is filled uh, in between of two bread layers okay so here you can observe that this uh, the a lipid layer of undefined thickness is sandwiched between two layers okay so in two layers of globular protein and this protein is hydrated protein and this model was given by danieli and dawson so second model if you discuss it is known as the unit membrane model and unit model um, unit membrane model was given by robertson in 1959 okay in 1959 uh, according to them the pattern of molecular organization remain the same for all membranes okay so that's why it's known as the unit membrane model and it is also trilaminar in organization in this you can see that two outer protein layers are present and inside of it lipid bilayer is present okay so this is having the hydrophilic head and hydrophobic head if, if you compare both the model sandwich model and unit membrane model you can observe that in sandwich model hydrated globular proteins are present okay and here you can see 
outer protein layer and inner protein layer is present this is inner protein layer it is outer protein layer okay so and this protein is a having the glycoprotein coat glycoprotein glyco word we use for the carbohydrate okay so it's i hope these two models are clear now i am going to tell you about the most important type of model that is known as the fluid mosaic model okay and the fluid mosaic model is uh, the this model was given by singer and nicholson okay singer and nicholson in 1972 according to them by molecular lipid membrane is by molecular lipid membrane this is the by molecular lipid membrane is interrupted interrupted by protein of different types in mosaic model mosaic means mosaic means fluid model clear so and these protein float in the phospholipid this protein you can see here this protein inner protein integral protein peripheral protein you can see all the proteins they are just flo floating over the lipid layer clear so that's why it's known as the fluid mosaic model and this is only provide the fluidity as well as elasticity to the cell clear and this is the most acceptable type of model clear so here you can see that hydrophilic head and again hydrophobic curtain hydrophilic head uh, means lipid layer is also having the hydrophilic head and hydrophobic tail clear and the outer one protein is known as the extrinsic protein and intrinsic protein is also present so it's about the fluid mosaic model now i am going to tell you you can see here also that uh, this type of structure by this also you can understand that how uh, the model is represented okay this is the fluid mosaic model this is the unit membrane model and this is the sandwich model clear so what is the functions of plasma membrane clear the main uh, the main function of plasma membrane is it separates the cell from the external environment clear it provide the covering of organelles meanwhile we can say that it maintain the identity and internal environment for the cell next is is it protect the cell from any kind of injury clear it also allow the flow of materials and information between different organelles of the same cell as well as in between of two cells clear or plasmodesmata plasmodesmata is a gap okay in which is present in plasma membrane this plasmodesmata provide the organic connection between two cells suppose these are the two cells and this is the plasma membrane okay plasma membrane of both the cells and these pores these pores it is known as the plasmodesmata so this plasmodesmata provide the connectivity between two cells okay so it's about the main functioning of the plasma membrane i hope that much is clear if you have any question you can send me your question thank you children